welcome back to my channel yeah how are you guys now let's start the new video in this video we are learning about the stoichiometry and some more calculation based on the stoichiometry look at the stoichiometry what is meant by the term stoichiometry stoichiometry is nothing but a balanced form of a chemical equation but don't worry about how to balance the equation we will discuss in my future videos let's do some calculation based on a stoichiometry one gram of CaCO3 is completely decomposed to form calcium oxide which is solid and carbon dioxide gas okay a bit find the mass of calcium oxide formed b bit find the volume of carbon dioxide gas form these are two separate questions we will do one by one to do such kind of questions we have to write down the balance form of a chemical equation sometime it will provide in the question itself so c a c o 3 calcium carbonate which is a solid solid form completely decomposed how can we decompose it just by heating it you just heat it there's a symbol like this symbol for heating symbol you just heat it we were left with a solid which is calcium oxide and carbon dioxide gas liberated out or coming out now i want to read the question one more time one gram of calcium carbonate is given calcium carbonate what's the another name of calcium carbonate any idea limestone okay look when you when you look at the equation it is already balanced one calcium one calcium one carbon one carbon three oxygen atom three oxygen atom left hand side is called reactants and the right hand side is called products okay one gram of calcium carbonate is given when you look at the balance equation theoretical theoretical ratio is one one mole react and form one mole of calcium oxide and one mole of carbon dioxide that's the theoretical ratio now we have to work out the actual ratio by using this mass in my previous video i already taught you how to work out the mole so look one gram is given one gram of calcium carbonate is given just work out the mole of calcium carbonate now look at that now point now one mole actual mole of calcium carbonate so it will give same now point one, one mole of calcium oxide and not point not one mole of carbon dioxide gas look at the question we have to work out the mass of the carbon dioxide form sorry the mass of the calcium oxide form look mass rearrange this formula mass equals to mole type mole time it's mr what's the mole we got just now it's not point, not one mole time mr of calcium oxide cao calcium ar is 40 oxygen ar is 16 
40 plus 16 equals to 56. 56. So just I want to rub a bit. No point not one, not point not one time fifty six, which is equals to zero point five six gram. Look at the one more part of this question. Find the volume of carbon dioxide gas for. I will come back to this question very soon. We will do some more example on this mass calculation. Now guys did you get this yeah okay now one more question look at the formation of ammonia by harbor process look at the formation of ammonia so two point eight gram of 2.8 gram of nitrogen gas 2.8 gram of nitrogen gas react with excess of hydrogen gas to form two moles of ammonia. What's the question? Find the mass of ammonia form. Find the mass of ammonia form. Please copy down that question. Okay. Look at first we have to write its balanced chemical equation and two nitrogen gas reacts with excess of hydrogen 3H2 which is also a gas react to form two moles of ammonia we use the catalyst to make ammonia i will teach you what is the purpose of the catalyst and this double arrow meaning we will do in our future videos okay look at 2.0 gram of nitrogen gas is given what's the theoretical molar ratio theoretical molar ratio is one is two Look at the actual mole of nitrogen gas, which is 0.1. And look, we have to just focus nitrogen and ammonia. So N2 versus 3H2. 3 N2 versus 2 mole of ammonia. Because hydrogen is in excess, I'm not using the hydrogen mole to work out the mole of ammonia 2 and h3 1 is to 2 that's the theoretical ratio and just now we worked out the actual number of moles which is nothing but 0 0.1 so 0 0.1 0 0.1 mole so just you times by 2 to get the mole of ammonia 0 0.1 times 2 which is nothing but 0 0.2 moles of ammonia not 0.2 moles is the actual moles of ammonia we use that mole to work out the mass of the ammonia so mass of the ammonia mass equals to mole time its mr mole not 0.2 time mr don't try to multiply again by 2 here. We did already times by 2. Just the MR of ammonia. Nitrogen 
14 hydrogen 1 so 14 plus 3 which is the MR of ammonia molecule so not point not point two time seventeen work out how much is that which is nothing but three point four gram I will give you one more example so we will do some more example in my next video before that you just practice some question from the past paper like one more question based on the stoichiometry then I will come back to the molar volume how to work out the volume of a given gas I will teach you how to work out the molar volume now one more question Easy one. You know, when metal react with acid, what we will get? Normally, when metal react with acid, any metal, we will get salt plus hydrogen gas. So that's the general reaction of metals. Metals plus acid gives salt plus hydrogen gas come out any metal uh, will take magnesium magnesium is a metal reacts with HCl gas to form magnesium chloride which is a salt I will teach you guys how to write the formula of magnesium chloride and hydrogen gas coming out is that reaction balance no nope. look at the reactant side I have one magnesium one magnesium yep. so please copy down this question I want to give this question as a homework for you and we will solve this question in my next video I will continue this lesson very soon yeah see you guys